I want to greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. We are talking about the blessing of brokenness. And as we go further in the book of Genesis chapter 33, the Bible says, And the sun rose on Jacob that day, both literally and also figuratively. It rose in the sky and it also rose in the heart of Jacob. His despair was turned to joy and forever God's people are always reminded and they always remember what God did did for him that day and what God is still doing in your life and in our lives today. Jacob was blessed right there in Peniel, but only after he was broken. And God wants to break you so that when the sun rises, it does not only rise in the sky, but it also rises in your heart. And that's when we can then allow God to come in our life. That's when we can allow God to do for us what we cannot do for ourselves. If we want to be blessed as well, we need to allow God to do the things that he is able to do. And the Bible says he is able to do exceedingly more abundantly than the things that we will be imagining or that we'll be thinking at that very moment. We must allow God to break us in order to make us we must allow God to break us so that he can take us away from sin and make us to experience righteousness we must tell him who we are we must confess what we really are we must accept and acknowledge what we have been so that he can make us what he wants us to be because many of us are liars many of us are deceivers many of us make it in life many of us get ahead in life by deceiving others but when we come in the presence of a holy god when we come in the presence of jesus he wants to change our life he wants to make sure that when the sun rises in our hearts in the sky it is rising by transforming our hearts and making us better better people so that we can have a better relationship with him so that we can cling to him because the bible says as he was crippled right there he started to limp what you and me as we read the bible are seeing as limping to jacob it was leaning you see when god breaks you he wants to teach you what it means to lean on him he wants you that when you meet your esau in your life the one that you deceived so many years ago you can know that as long as I'm leaning, I am leaning on the everlasting lamb. Oh yes, what a beauty. Oh yes, what great joy it is to be broken by God. You see, many of us get broken by the people of this world. Some of us get broken by our boyfriend. And we are so heartbroken that we cannot see God. But when God breaks us, we are able to see his face. We are able to experience the beauty in ashes. And God wants to break you in order to make you. So above everything else, what God wants to do in your life, he wants you to seek a blessing from him. When you have got that blessing from him, you may know that you have learned to depend on him. May God bless you and may God be with you as you think about your brokenness, as you live and accept your brokenness, but you live in the beauty of the blessing. May God help you not only to embrace what he's doing in your life, but even for the things, for you to embrace the things that he's yet to do in your life. Be blessed as you go through the journey of being broken by God.